students welcome back to our next lecture uh, today we are going to study <clears throat> the next part of the epidermal tissue systems in our previous lecture uh, we have seen that uh, there is a protective tissue system uh, there are various types of tissue systems present in the plant body among these uh, in your syllabus it is included that is protective tissue system other than protective tissue systems there is are very, uh, that is uh, ground tissue system is there then vascular tissue system is there so uh, uh, we have started the protective tissue system in our previous uh, that is lecture in uh, we see that uh, that uh, in uh, tissue system that is protective tissue system first part is the outermost layer that is any part of the plant body or throughout the plant body the um, a single layer or a, um, that is a continuous protective layer is present um, that is uh, the whole plant body is covered by a protective layer and that protective layer it is known as the epidermis that we have seen how the uh, epidermis is what type of cells they are present it may be a single layer or it may be a multi layered in case of uh, some plants it uh, generally it is single layered epidermis uh, but in some cases uh, or in some plants that is uh, for example oleander nerium or uh, you can say the roots of the orchid plants uh, they uh, the epidermis of these uh, uh, that is a uh, plants they it is of multi layered type okay so epidermis it's it's it forms a physical barrier physical barrier means physical barriers in between the um, underlying tissues and the outer atmosphere so uh, ultimately it protects the underlying tissues from the atmosphere from the uh, outer atmosphere or outer uh, that is infections or injuries whatever it may be it uh, it forms a barrier or it protects the underlying tissues of all uh, all the plants body from the external uh, that is atmosphere okay so uh, this is the uh, uh, epidermal epidermis it uh, that is the tissue is compactly arranged that is cells are compactly arranged in epidermis um, uh, so why it is compactly arranged because uh, if there is an intercellular spaces anything can come inside or anything can go outside so to avoid this the these cells uh, they are arranged compactly and their outer wall of this the cell uh, wall that is outer cell wall and the radial cell wall adjacent cell wall they are somewhat thicker than the inner cell wall okay uh, because it uh, faces to the outside it faces the uh, outer atmosphere that's why it is thicker than that of the internal uh, inner cells okay so it protects the internal soft tissues against the mechanical injury okay so uh, there is a deposition uh, of uh, something that is it is known as the cutin or it may be a lignin or it may be a suvin but in epidermis uh, this epidermal cell wall that is the external cell wall it uh, secretes some uh, wax like substances or there is a deposition of some wax like substances on it so these wax like substances prevents the uh, that is uh, you uh, you can say the prevents the uh, that is uh, transpiration or you can say the removal of water from the underlying tissues so that uh, the plant body can maintain their water requirement or the every cell of the plant body they maintain their water requirement so to avoid the transpiration to avoid the removal of water from the uh, plant body this cuticle that is the this waxy layer or which is made up of cutin uh, it is known as the cuticle this cuticle layer is uh, present on the surface of the uh, epidermal cell cell wall okay so uh, <clears throat> along with this cuticle uh, we have seen uh, how the cuticle uh, is present or uh, it may be a um, somewhat uh, uneven in thickness or it may be a thin or it may be a uh, thick uh, thick uh, that is a uh, cuticle layer so uh, this epidermal tissue uh, not only um, that is so the protection uh, function uh, that is but it also um, uh, helps in preparation of food material or also it serves in photosynthesis uh, of the and secretion so 
it also acts as a storehouse of the uh, water so these are uh, uh, some of the functions of epidermis in that epidermal tissue system uh, along with the epidermis and along with the cuticle so uh, there are four types uh, there are four that is uh, uh, tissues or four structures they are present in the epidermal tissue systems first is epidermis then second one is uh, cuticle third one is uh, your uh, uh, trichome that we are uh, going to study in this uh, lecture and the fourth one is that is the uh, uh, stomata yes so in this uh, lecture uh, we uh, we will study the storm uh, detail about this uh, that is trichomes so what is trichomes trichomes they are these are nothing but the uh, hair like prolongations it is a pro uh, prolongation it is the uh, you know the, that is the epidermal outgrowth okay it is an elongated that is tubular hair like um, structure it may be a unicellular or it may be a multicellular structure okay so it is the outgrowth of the epidermal cells it is the prolongation or the projection of the epidermal cell or it or you can say it is the extension of the epidermal cell so um, these extension or this prolongation it is known as the trichomes a trichome they may be a unicellular or multicellular they may be present on uh, any part of the plant body that uh, present on the stem leaves flowers fruits any part of the plant body okay so this elongated tubular structure that is the trichome it is multicellular or unicellular structure it is uh, it is the uh, you know that uh, uh, it is just a minute that is a tubular hair like projections or it is the uh, that is some of the epidermal cells so shows this type of projection some of the plants uh, as you can see in the picture you see the hair like structures present on the surface of that uh, uh, organ that is it is present on that uh, that is flower part it is present on the leaf part okay it is present on the stem also uh, the this rough uh, when you uh, touch that plant uh, you feel some roughy uh, structure so this roughy structure uh, texture uh, that is you feel it is nothing but due to the presence of this trichomes due to the presence of these small appendages uh, these uh, appendages they are the extension of the epidermal cells so this uh, this is the trichome and uh, this this trichome is of various um, types or various uh, they have the various shapes and the structures okay uh, these trichomes they are present uh, throughout the plant body um, when they are present on any part of the plant body it persists or it is present uh, throughout the lifetime of the plant body or uh, some of the trichomes they uh, uh, that is fall off uh, very early um, stage of the plant body so they may be persistent or they may be a temporary okay uh, they are found in group uh, sometimes they are found in group or they uh, found um, singly also okay uh, or single uh, that is uh, they are found with the other uh, that is uh, trichomes they form, form a group of other tri uh, other structures so they are found in group also shapes they are you can see in the picture they are very vari variable types of shapes are present in the in case of trichomes and uh, they may be living or dead some uh, trichomes the when there is a deposition of uh, that is uh, deposition on the uh, wall um, uh, of the trichomes or uh, this deposition as like that of the uh, dead tissues that is a uh, sclerin chymatis tissues or xylem tissues there is a deposition of lignin on sabarin material on the wall of the trichome so uh, if there is a uh, this type of deposition uh, is present on the wall of the trichome that trichome becomes dead or if there is only a cellulose material is present then that trichome is a living trichome so it may be either living or dead okay and the cell wall is made up of cellulose okay uh, cytoplasm is somewhat uh, present in less amount 
and there is a uh, outer covering that is like epi uh, it is uh, like epidermis there is a presence of outer covering cuticle it uh, this cuticle also extends up to the trichome also so trichome is also covered by a cuticle okay silica or calcium carbonate uh, deposition is also present on the trichomes that is hair like projections so these are the uh, various types of or the you can see the various shapes of the trichomes they are very minute uh, in shape when we uh, um, it will be clear for us uh, when we see in uh, under the microscope so we see the detailed structure of that on this on the basis of that structure they are of various types on the basis of shapes and sizes uh, sorry on the basis of shapes they are of various types so this is some uh, samples of the now let's see about the classification or types of trichomes as uh, i say uh, said earlier that on the basis of their shapes and the structures they are of various types okay so uh, let's start with the first type that is unicellular trichome as you uh, can see in the picture that is the first picture it is a hair like structure you can see there and uh, there is no any uh, that is partition present on this um, and uh, that is under this or in this uh, cell this is a long elongated cell okay only a single cell is present so this single elongated cell it is the unicellular trichome so it is made up of only a single cell it is simple unbranch or branch it may be a branch also so then uh, it is just uh, as um, i have said earlier it is a just elongation of the epidermis okay so this is the unicellular trichomes in unicellular trichomes becomes a uh, simple or hook trichomes or branch trichomes or bristle like so you can see in the picture that is somewhat a curved structure is there so this curved structure it acts like as a hook you better know the uh, structure of hook that it um, uh that is uh, it catch uh, some point uh, with the help of this so uh, it is a hook a trichome that is it is present in the lantana camera or it may also known as the ghaneri so some uh, uh, that is yellow and red flowers combination of yellow and red flowers that is lantana camera this uh, simple trichomes they are present in calotropis procera rui okay so uh this this is the hook trichomes and again you can see in the picture that is three radiating arms are present the this trichome it is also made up of single cell but it has a branches it has three branches okay hence that is known as the branch trichome it is found in the compositi or the convolvulaceae family compositi is the sunflower family it is present on it and bristles like uh, fibers uh, they are present uh in the um, rice uh, that is plant uh, and you also see the t shape structure that is the t shape uh, shape structure of the trichome and this t shape uh, um, that is shaped uh, trichome is also present in some plant body so this is the uh, unicellular trichome and this unicellular types of this unicellular trichome is simple then hooked then uh, branch t shaped and bristle type of trichomes so according to or on the basis of the uh, branch or unbranch then on the basis of the uh, that is the shape of that uh, trichomes they are of various types okay so this is about the unicellular trichomes unicellular means they are made up of only single cells but that single cells they have the different shapes so on and according to that shapes they are they may be a simple they may be a hook type they may be a branch they may be a bristles or they may be a t shaped structure okay so this is the unicellular trichome now next is multicellular trichomes so in case of multicellular trichomes as in the unicellular it is made up of only single cell but in multicellular it is made up of more than one cell or uh it is made up of uh, number of uh, cells that is number of cells together they form a multicellular structure multi means more than one and cellular means cells that is multi cells they group together to form a structure that is known as multicellular structure and this 
hair like or the projections of from the epidermis they are made up of number of cells more than one cells that is the multicellular trichomes okay so it has two parts as you can see it has two parts the basal part which is present uh, in the epidermis which is present uh, on the surface or inside the epidermal surface that part is known as the foot part or uh, you can say it is the base part okay and the aerial part of the uh, that trichome that is which is present above the epidermal surface that is known as the body of that trichome so it has two parts foot and the body basal part as uh, it is embedded in the epidermis uh, that is foot and the body it is the projected part of the epidermis okay it may be a uniseriate or multiseriate type again the, there is a two types in multicellular uh, trichomes uniseriate means uniseriate means there is a formation of chain of number of cells that is there is a formation of a single chain okay this is the uniseriate that is the one only a single chain of multicellular um, uh, single chain of a number of cells they are uh, that is uh, present then it is known as the uniseriate type it is present in cucurbita uh, cucurbita pepo euphorbia hirta and solanum nigrum that is solanum nigrum is the brinjal family um, euphorbia uh, that is rubber family Uh, cucurbita that is the god family okay so it is present in the uniseriate trichomes they are present in that particular plant body so in case of multiseriate what does it mean multiseriate means if uh, you can minutely uh, if you see minutely in the picture second picture you see the two chains they are go they goes parallel with each other that is two multicellular chain of the cells that goes parallel to each other that is one chain like that of the uniseriate type and the uh, adjacent to that there is a second chain okay so these two chains okay these two chains when they come together and to form a structure that is the multiseriate structure that is more than one chain when it is present then there is a multiseriate structure okay it may be two it may be a uh, um, three four whatever it may be okay so it is present in the solanum melangena portulaca oleracea this type of plants they have this multiseriate type of trichomes in it okay so these are all the epidermal appendages it, these are all the types of trichomes that is uniseri uh, sorry uni, uh, unicellular trichome and multicellular trichome in unicellular trichome Uh, we have seen the types that is simple hooked branch then yes that is t shape and bristle and in case of multicellular trichome we have seen the two types that is uniseriate and multiseriate so uh, let's go to the next part that is glandular hairs so these are another type of appendages they are present on the epidermal surface of the plant body some plant body secretes uh, some type of substances that is various substances it may be a nectar resins tannins then terpenes uh, mucilage some acidic substances lots of uh, that is secretions they are present in the plant body they secrete various types of substances including water also okay so this when uh this secret the when some specialized part of the epidermal cell uh they have this type of secretions in it that is known as the glandular hairs that is the a structure which contains a uh, which acts as a storage cavity of that secretion it is known as the glandular hairs as you can see in the picture there is a uh, secretory cells which are present on the storage cavity this is the subcuticular uh, cavity of the epidermal cells and in that epidermal cells there is a presence of uh, some secretory cells and these secretory cells has the body and also the stalk cells also there and the basal cell okay that stalk cell they secretes the uh, that substances okay 
and the cuticle is somewhat elevated in structure so that type of uh, elevate, elevated structure when present on the hair like projection that is known as the glandular hairs that is tip of that hair like structure or unicellular or multicellular hair like structure when the, the tip of that structure is somewhat uh, oval in shape or somewhat elevated uh, in the uh, in form then that is known as the glandular hairs or that trichome is the glandular uh, that is trichomes okay so it has two parts uh, that is the basal stalk part and the upper part is known as the head region where the secretory cells secrete the secretions okay now this head possesses one or more secretory cells or glands you you can uh, say gland also and the secretory cells also okay this head part contains that secretory cells this uh, head or this uh, cell it is covered by a cuticle as the epidermis is covered by the cuticle this glandular here or this head part of this glandular trichome is covered by a cuticle okay and under that cuticle there is a presence of secretory cells these glandular hairs may be again uniseriate or multiseriate that is the stalk of that glandular hair it is made up of a single chain or it it may be a made up of a more than one chain that means uniseriate or multiseriate example of uh, the plants where these glandular hairs are present it is a tobacco plumbago boravia etc more than number of uh, plants uh, uh, they have a secretion they present they present this glandular types of hairs okay so what is the function of that glandular hairs or uh, why these secretions occurs in this uh, that is uh, that hair like projection so uh, there is some reason due to that secretions the uh, or due to the smell of that secretions or due, due to the uh, contact with that secretions it uh, the some herbivores uh, that is uh, herbivores and uh, small insects and uh, snails they repel from that plant and hence the plant can protect themselves from that uh, organisms okay so to uh, protect ourselves they acts as a repelling agent these secretions act as a repelling agent it repels their uh, their enemies from uh, them okay so it immobilizes or uh, unpalatable small insects when uh, some insects when come in contact with that secret secretions they uh, they become immobilized they they can't live uh, they, they can't they can't move okay or uh, they they get paralyzed also okay so in this way uh, these plants protects them uh, this type of plants they protect themselves from this uh, from the their enemy so these glandular uh, hairs uh, due to their secretions they plays a very important role in uh, in the protection uh, of the plant okay so this is uh, the glandular hairs then the next again type of trichome is non glandular this is the simple The, these uh, trichomes they does not have any type of uh, secretions or secretory cells in it and they they do not secrete any uh, secretions any substances okay these are just a simple uh, hair like projections or these hair like projections may be unicellular multicellular multi uniseriate multiseriate also branch and all these types of cells. okay so they they may be a simple epidermal elongations they may be a uh, unicellular or multicellular they may be a branch or unbranch and uh, these types you can see here uh, there are uh, two types that is um, uh, stellate and the dendroid types so uh, you can see here the stellate that is the star shaped trichomes that is the uh, radiating arms you can see uh, in the first picture these uh, these radiating arms may be 3 4 5 or multiple so this radiating uh, it it looks like a star shape hence the name is given that is stellate uh, trichomes they may be multicellular um, having uh, they may have a stalk or not uh, or the uh, they might be uh, sessile also so it it is found in the uh, cyda cordifolia okay uh, so uh, these uh, 
अगेन द सेकंड टाइप ट्राइकोम इट लुक्स अ डेंड्रॉइड डेंड्रॉइड मीन्स देअर इज अ ब्रांचेस दे रेडिएटिंग आर्म्स इज प्रेजेंट बट देअर दे आर ब्रांच ट्राइप सो दिस ब्रांच स्टेलेट टाइप ऑफ ट्राइकोम इट इज नोन एज द डेंड्रॉइड ट्राइकोम्स ओके so it gives protection and defense against the insects it also protects these plants this type of uh, the, that is a stellate and uh, dendrite type of trichomes they are also uh, protects that plant from the ultraviolet light it it also prevents the water loss or it avoids the transpiration okay due to the deposition of some materials on it so this is uh, the these uh, trichomes this type of trichomes gives protection as well as uh, it prevents the water loss from the body huh? and it also protect from the ultraviolet light also so stellate and the dendroid tribes are the are uh, present uh, under the non glandular trichomes okay so the next trichome is is the pelted scales now these are not the somewhat uh, elongated structure now up till now we see the hair that is a uh, unicellular or multicellular here glandular trichomes then uh, non glandular trichomes they are projections they are elongated projections somewhat okay they have some uh, elongated stalks structure but in case of pelted scales this is somewhat scales scales are present you know the, the scales scales of uh, snakes and scales of uh, something that it looks like that these are somewhat flat structure okay or uh, you can say it is a shield like structure shield you know the shield okay this uh, plate like structure or the shield like structure hence it is known as the pelted scales it is um, uh, sorry shield shape and multicellular trichome it is again one of the uh, uh, that is a trichome found in the plant body it is large complex structures like umbrella okay Uh, it looks like a umbrella that is uh, if the if we open the umbrella it looks like that okay so it is a umbrella like uh, it is a structure that is the head structure of this uh, pelted um, scales they are umbrella type and uh, as the umbrella has a stalk it uh, this pelted scale also has a uh, stalk or it may be a sessile also okay it does not have any stalk also okay so it is a uh, found under the underside of the olea leaves fern radishes and pinna okay its function is also to protect the plants um, from the uh, water loss or from the um, that is a uh, external atmosphere from their enemies okay so this is the pelted scales okay this is uh, the about the classification of Uh, or types of trichomes so up till now we see uh, multi, uh, unicellular trichome then second one is multicellular trichome then third one is glandular trichome and the fourth one is non glandular trichome and the last one is the pelted scales so under unicellular multicellular glandular uh, and non glandular trichomes there are again a uh, various types okay in case of unicellular trichomes we see the various types of uh, that uh, that is simple branch hook t shape bristle in case of uh, multicellular we see what what type of trichomes we see in case of multicellular that is yes uniseriate and multiseriate trichomes then in glandular glandular it is a uh, it, it does not have any um, types but in non glandular it may be a stellate and dendroid type okay and the last one is the pelted scales all these trichomes they are meant for the protection they grows on the surface of the epidermal tissues it is due to it is because to prevent the water loss and to give the protection to that plant body so these are all are the protective in nature hence included in the protective tissue system okay so protective tissue systems among the uh, tissues of protective tissue system trichome is one of them like epidermis cuticle and the next is trichome so these three they gives protection to the plant body from the external atmosphere 
okay so what is the overall function of these trichomes let's have a quick look it controls the rate of transpiration yes then second is it reduces the heating effect of the sunlight that means it maintains the temperature inside the plant body and it uh, that is prevent it from desiccation from wilting okay so it reduces the uh, that is temperature level it reduces the heating effect okay then they protect the plants from outer injuries outer injuries may be uh, of various types it may it it uh, it may be due to living organisms or it may be due to environmental conditions also so they protect uh, uh, the plants from all these injuries then glandular trichomes contains uh, because they secrete the some type of substances some plants they contain the essential oils also which provide the characteristic odor to the plants for example if we smell uh, have a smell of uh, citrus plants or the osimum plant tushi kiwa limbu santra mosambi yancha uh, yancha jeva apan vas geto ta it has some uh, pleasant odor it has some odor and this odor is due to the presence of this essential oil so this essential oil is secreted by this glandular trichomes okay so uh, this oil is also acts as a repellent property it it has a repellent property okay so trichomes when present in roots they help in absorption of water yes in case of root when there is a uh, presence of epidermal elongations in the root system this is known as the root hairs as we have discussed earlier that root hairs they increases the surface area of the uh, that Um, uh, when they are present in the underground part they uh, increases the surface area of water absorption that means they uh, absorb water as um, um, as they are uh, present in a uh, uh, more in number so more the number of root hairs present on the root there is a more increase in the uh, absorption of water so this tri this hair like structures when present on the uh, surface of the epidermis of the root then it is the it is known as the root hairs so it uh, uh, what is its function it absorbs the water from the soil and it uh, transport or provide to all part of the plant body so water is essential part of the plant body without water it cannot exist so this type of outgrowths or you can say appendages or the elongations or the projections of the epidermal surface of uh, present in uh, in the plant body they are uh, they are uh, of various types and they have a various functions the ultimate function is the protection so that's why it is included in the protective tissue system so this is about the trichome part of the uh, epidermal tissue system this is the end of the this lecture now and the next and the last part of the epidermal tissue system that is known as the stomata we will discuss it in our uh, next lecture so till now uh, it is over here and uh, we will meet in the next lecture so stay tuned thank you thank you very much